Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today we're going to be continuing on it with our RPG game tutorial series. And uh, this time we're going to be adding a few more attributes to our character, such as like melee, ranged, and magic damage uh, to our character. Um, there's literally loads of attributes you could add to, you know, an RPG character, and all of those could be added as, you know, skills, you know, skill upgrades or whatever inside your character. Um, so yeah, we're going to be adding, you know, like I said, those three um, damage types. So uh, for starters, let's go into our character. So we'll find our character, open up his blueprint, right? And um, we're going to add some variables. Okay, so let's add a new variable. And we'll call this um, simply melee, melee damage. All right. And this, this is more assuming, you know, like a fantasy RPG game. Um, you know, you can adjust your your variables based on whatever type of you know RPG game you're doing. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, make sure this is a float, all right, for melee damage. Uh, we'll go and add range damage, all right. Also a float, and lastly we'll add magic damage. And later on, this will kind of tie into uh, you know the class builds that we'll have um, and races and whatnot. Uh, each of those will influence kind of the players starting you know damage types and just other attributes so anyways um, now we can go ahead and move these uh, values into our attributes category so we keep everything organized so just drag and you know drop it alright and then we'll compile and save so that we can give them some default values uh, melee let's just say 10 let's set them all to 10 for right now so it's just like a basic character, right? And these are completely arbitrary values. They'll totally depend on whatever your health um, system is. Uh, so yeah, anyways. So we've added those values. Now let's go ahead and go into our skill tree. And we're going to add three new skills um, to you know increase each of those. All right. So we first, we can go ahead and just click on one of our size boxes here. So it so that we don't have to you know completely redo all the properties. Um, and we can hit Control C. We'll click on the canvas panel and hit Control V three times. So one, two, three. We've added three new ones. Uh, and now we'll position them over here. So this first one, let's see. You know, put it down here. Uh, we'll set the X to like 140. The Y to negative 140. No, positive 140. Um, all right. This middle one, we can again say 140, and then Y at zero. And then for this last one, we'll say 140 and negative 140. All right, so it should look something like this. Now let's go ahead and actually change uh, what these buttons and their skills are. So for this bottom one, all right, we'll do this bottom one first. Um, we'll call this, uh, let's give it a kind of a cool name, like, uh, I don't know, Warrior. All right. So warrior, or maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, whatever. We'll just call it warrior for now, signifying kind of melee damage. Um, for this next one, let's go ahead and call it. I don't know. How about um, ranger? Maybe this one could be ranger abilities or whatever. Um, and this last one, let's call it. How about mage? I know it's pretty boring, but you know it. It I hope gets the idea across. Um, one thing we might want to do too is you know position them out right here. That might be a smarter idea. So let's actually do that um, really quick. So the warrior one's good. The ranger one we could probably move. Um, I'm just gonna kind of get a general idea of where it should be. All right, so maybe. 140 again. Nope. 140. And I guess 284. That's probably fine. Yeah. Maybe 280. Yeah, 280. We'll go 280. Um, and now this last one, which is right here, we can again change this to uh, 140. And now instead of 280, let's add on another 140. So we'll do 420. And there we go. So it's you know it's kind of getting towards the edge there. Um, so we might want to, you know, adjust the size of our overall vertical box here. Um, so let's actually do that. Let's set it to like 1,000. Nope, that's the wrong direction. 
as you can tell, it's uh, a little confusing figuring these dimensions out. But anyways, so perfect. We've got we've got that set up. Uh, the last thing we need to do now is just change up the names of the buttons. So we'll change this one to how about Warrior, I guess, or let, yeah, Warrior. That's fine. Um, for this one, we'll change it to Ranger. And this last one, we'll change it to Mage, just like that. All right, perfect. So now we can go over to our graph, All right? And um, actually, first, let's make sure that each of these buttons is enabled. So we'll go to Is Enabled, and we'll set it to True. All right? Otherwise, we won't be able to click on them. Uh, but yeah, let's go to the graph. And um, let's find each of those buttons. So let's do the Warrior first. Let's add an on-clicked event. All right, so on-clicked. Um, we're going to drag off and you know we'll do something so first let's go get this little event here uh, not event kind of functionality this check and again just to reiterate this is checking if we have enough skill points or if we have more than zero skill points okay because if we do then we can uh, you know have the ability I guess so control W to duplicate that hook it up like so and then off of true um, we're not going to do a do once because uh, will allow the player to kind of increase their damage more than one time okay so um, with that done let's go ahead and well first let's drag off of true and say subtract skill points and the amount we want to subtract is just one for right now and now we'll create a function that will upgrade you know this damage okay so we'll add a function call it upgrade um, upgrade melee right or you know if you want to be more specific upgrade melee damage that'll be fine all right and then in here we want to get our character reference so get him and we want to uh, drag off and say set melee damage okay so we're gonna set it equal to the value of our current melee damage so we'll get the melee damage um, We'll drag off and we'll say, you know, times, or rather we'll just do a plus. Okay, so we'll add some kind of damage to it. Um, let's just add maybe uh, five for now. Okay, so every time you pump a point into it, you increase your damage by five. All right, now you should be starting to see kind of a trend here with our skill tree. And this is kind of the, you know, the core idea that I'm hoping to get across to you guys. All right, so in your designer, right, you're adding all these different buttons. Right, and each button, when you click it, it'll do some kind of you know functionality um, that you know can alter your your character. Okay, and so kind of the core ideas here to keep in mind are: make sure you have enough skill points first of all. All right, then determine if you only want to do it once or have it be an ability you can do multiple times. All right, and so that's where the do once comes in, and then finally make you know make sure you subtract a skill point or you know however many skill points you want and then run your you know skill specific code okay and I highly advise doing it in the widget itself and not your character since um, it's not useful to have in your character and you know as you start adding on more and more functionality in your character it you know is just um, you know could hamper your performance so um, and then I guess the very last thing is if you're doing it in kind of a tree mode, right? So like this, right? Where once you purchase one, then other ones get unlocked, then uh, make sure you use this is enabled. Okay, so those are kind of all the, you know, the core concepts that I'm hoping you uh, get out of this. All right. So anyways, let's go back to our upgrade melee damage. And this is how it is. So we can go to our vent graph, drag off and say upgrade melee damage. Alright, and so that'll upgrade our melee damage now. Now we can do the same exact thing for all these other abilities. Um, I'm not actually, uh, I'm not going to do it right now because literally it's the same exact thing except instead of melee, you do, you know, m mage damage or range damage, etc. And do the same kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, I really hope, you know, this is all starting to make sense to you guys and uh, so that you can customize it to behave more how you want it to. Um, and you know if you have any questions on any of this you know in terms of I guess the concepts or how you might go about implementing a certain skill 
you know, please ask and I'll be sure to, you know, try to help you out as best as I can. Uh, but anyways, that is going to do it, I think, for the most part, um, with our skill tree and everything. Um, I know this video is going to, you know, is a little shorter, but again, just trying to make sure to hammer home this idea, right? We want to check to see if we have enough skill points, right? If we do, then we need to determine ourselves if we want this to be a skill that you can purchase once or if you can purchase it multiple times, right? So you either use it do once or you don't. And then make sure you subtract some points, all right? Then run your specific, you know, your ability or skill specific code, all right? And then if it's a tree, you make sure you set the next, the next uh, button in the tree to enabled, okay? So yeah, that's really the uh, the overarching idea that uh, I hope you guys are able to get out of this. So um, with that, thank you for watching. And you know, in the next video, we'll be going over a different or a different concept of you know, kind of inventories and equipment and stuff like that. So. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and if you like the video, uh, you know, like or subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.